Canada. Oh, Canada. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back to Got A Ukulele, it's review day. This is your summary video review that summarizes what's linked below this video, which is the full review, scores, pictures, and that kind of thing. Uh, thank yous running across the bottom of the screen to people who've donated very, very kindly to Got A Ukulele in the last week, uh, because this website tries to be completely impartial, doesn't take money from brands or stores, and these people really are the people that allow it to keep continuing. And if you like what you see on the YouTube channel, why not think about subscribing? That would help me out. Hit the little button down there and uh, get my subscriber count up. Yeah, Canada. Uh, surprising, really. I've been reviewing for over 10 years, hundreds of instruments, and I don't believe I've ever reviewed one from Canada. Um, maybe wrong, but I think this is the first. Uh, and it's also one of those ones that, whilst I do try to keep a broad range of quality of instruments from the cheap to the very expensive on got a ukulele occasionally i do get treated to be to be able to borrow some really wonderful instruments and uh, i think this one is going to be one of these this is the martin beck handmade tenor in spruce and rosewood um and uh <laughs> wow it's really 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 pretty martin beck actually called martin uh, van humbeck but amusingly calls his ukuleles uh, martin beck uh, because van humbeck would be too big to fit on the headstock i really like that he's based in vancouver island in canada uh, he's a luthier, uh, been a luthier for about 25 years, also makes guitars, but also two ukuleles, a tenor like this one, and a concert, all handmade. Uh, he's a master of the Guild of American Luthiers, all that kind of stuff, proper, proper luthier stuff, this. Um, and it is really the looker. This is naturally made of all solid woods. This is master grade Engelman spruce on the top which is, uh, I mean, spruce master grade. I mean, spruce, all spruce kind of looks the same to me, but the, the, the grain here, probably a little bit too bright in that light. The grain here is um, really, really tight, but um, even um, every, every band of the grain is the same, two pieces on the top. Back and sides are rather beautiful uh, Indian rosewood, as you can see. And we'll come on to the decor and stuff in a moment. Uh, this is a really nice back. Um, Really nice side as well, for that matter. Beautiful instrument. Um, really nice quality of woods. The bridge is a pin bridge style, kind of Taylor-esque. Let me take this brightness down. There we are. Uh, it's a Taylor-esque style made of Amazon rosewood, uh, which is nice and sort of reddish-orange. It's not like a lot of rosewood you see that's uh, darker and almost black. I really like that. Uh, little, I think they are, um, now what is that wood? I can't remember, I have not put it on my crib sheet. Have a look in the review as to what these bridge pins are made of, but they're made of wood um, rather than plastic. The saddle is slightly curved over the top this way. It's made of bone, it's not compensated. I think the accuracy of the build will sort that out. Okay, uh, then we come on to decoration. And um, you know, I, I, I know a lot of people say, oh, Baz doesn't like blingy instruments, and I don't but I don't think this is blingy in the slightest. I think this all hangs together really well. First of all, we've got uh, figured U, uh, Pacific figured U around the binding at the top with some purfling uh, and on the back. And you also get more of that here down on this um, uh, tail stripe, which is kind of in a cornerstone shape. And then this um, off-centered uh, asymmetric swirly sound hole which has got a bit of abalone in it as well i think there's babinga going on inside it, some of this binding as well um again I've, I've not got these on my crib sheet have a look on the written review it'll tell you everything you need to know about the woods but i think it all hangs together really well and really classy none of it stands out none of it is garish it's just a classy instrument you'll also see side sound port i don't know what that shape is it's his signature shape um, but I like it, <laughs> I really do like it, and it's finished in a hand rubbed true oil finish, which means we're kind of open grain on the back, but it feels very natural. That means there's nothing in there choking the wood off. Um, this is as natural as the wood can be while still protecting it, and it is absolutely flawlessly done. I can't find anything wrong at all. Moving on, neck is made of Honduran mahogany, all in one piece, hand carved. Um, it tapers to 35.6 at the nut. I would normally like that a little bit wider, but it's, um, 
it's not too, well, yeah, I would like it a bit wider, but the reason it gets a pass for me is it's nice and shallow here. So w the, this is a purely subjective thing. I know I talk about this a lot, and um, it's all about the shape of my hands, not yours. So I'm just telling you what I think. Um, I like them a bit wider, but I particularly like them wider when they're broom handle on the back, but this isn't broom handle on the back, so it gets away with that, and it's really comfortable. And it's 30 mil from G2A, so that's actually pretty decent spacing. I love when they put this little notch thing in here, which acts as kind of a buffer stop when you slide up to first position without overshooting up to the headstock. That's really nice. That is topped in Amazon um, Rosewood again which again is this sort of reddish color, which is really, really nice. 20 frets, I think it's slightly uh, radius as well on the top. I don't have the radius measurement in the specs, and it might be my eyes, but I am sure there is a slight radius on the top, which is nice. The frets are made of a material called Gold Evo. That is a copper alloy. It's not, there's no gold in it at all, but it comes out with this gold finish. Used by very high-end instrument makers. It's harder than nickel silver. It's also hypoallergenic for people who get uh, rashes from touching nickel. They are dressed impeccably well. You get 20 of those and 14 to the body. Dots then face out really, really simple and small dots, which I like, very Martin-esque that. We've got one on the third, the fifth, the seventh, 10th, double 12th, and one at the 15th, and naturally they are repeated on the side as well. So this is really nice. And then we come up to this. Wow, 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 wow. Sorry about the reflections. I really like it because it's small. Um, a lot of builders on tenors put enormous headstocks on because it's a bigger instrument, but this is really small and diminutive. That is more of the figured. Uh, Pacific U, uh, edge bound around the top with some more purfling. The back logo is a pearl inlay. I think that is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. And because it's a smaller headstock, uh, smaller tuners. These are superb. These are Goto 510 Super Mini Gears. Um, wonderful, really high end tuners, these with those little black tulip shaped buttons. Um, these are impeccably good. It comes strong with Worth Clears, and for the price you also get uh, a hard case. And not this isn't just like a Stag or a Kinsman case, this is something a level above that. I mean, this is seriously good case work. Um, I really do like that. All right, I've not found anything wrong with this. This is impeccable, what an instrument. Um, and it's gonna have a big price, isn't it? Yes, it does. It is 1799 to buy this. Um, but you know what, there's, there's, I've, I've reviewed more expensive, uh, some of the Canaleas are more expensive, the Deluxe Kamakas are more expensive. Um, for a Luthier build instrument, uh, you know, it's kind of priced where I'd expect it to be, so it doesn't shock me that. And as I say, I can't find anything wrong with that. I'm absolutely in love with the looks of this. Uh, the build quality is flawless. It's not heavy, 645 grams. Really feels light in the hands, really feels nice and balanced. Um, I like absolutely everything about this. And wouldn't it be a crying shame if it sounded terrible? I can't play to a standard to do this instrument justice. Sorry. Uh, it's fitted, as you can see, with a low G, a wound low G. Now, that's not my cup of tea either, but I don't affect scores of reviews for things like that because you just change it, wouldn't you? Volume. <laughs> Core. It's seriously loud. And the sustain is amazing. It's still going. I can still feel, yeah. That is serious as <laughs> Dynamic range and the 
clarity is amazing. What a wonderful sounding instrument. I think it's more of a pickers. there's lows, there's mids, there's everything in between. The sustain makes finger picking just an absolute joy to play. The volume is amazing up the neck. Everything's amazing about it. Uh, look, let me cut to the chase. This um, is, without a doubt, one of the nicest instruments I've ever played. Um, it's that good. Uh, this is stunning. Um, and it goes top. Uh, I think it shares the top with one other instrument on God a ukulele, uh, but it's now in a class of two that have the highest score I've ever given um, because I can't find anything wrong with it. I wouldn't change anything in the decor or the looks, and I don't normally go with spruce. Um, I wouldn't change anything in the decor or the looks. The neck is absolutely sublime. Ah, headstock is amazing. Wonderful tuners. Uh, that sound, the volume, and particularly that sustain, which I don't think I've ever heard a ukulele with such good sustain. This goes on and on and on. Um, I like that the sound is not all bright or all dark, it's in between. Obviously the low G is helping there, it would brighten up a bit more if I had a high, high G on it. But there's still a lot of mids from the C and E strings. I think that's where a lot of the sustain is coming from. It's not just that low G. Um, I'm going on. Because I can't say enough decent things about this. I didn't know anything about this Luthier before this was sent to me. Very kindly on loan from World of Ukes who stock this. Um, I didn't know anything about him. I'm afraid, Martin. Sorry about that. Um, but I think you are a bit of a wizard. Because... Um, yeah, the Martin Beck solid spruce, Engelmann spruce, and Indian rosewood solid tenor made in Canada by a luthier, um, Martin Van Humbeck. Uh, this is, <laughs> oh my word, this is stunning. Yeah, I know it's, it's, it's a rich price for a lot of people, but as I say, Kamaka Deluxe, quite a lot more money than this. Uh, Canalea Manaco, quite a lot more money than this. Uh, 1799. Uh, it's 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 priced at the right it's it it's in the right place and it's certainly right at the top table in terms of quality this is this is absolutely incredible thanks so much to Matt Walton's for trusting me with this one um, oh what a wonderful instrument right there we are mm -hmm. Right, I am back. Where's my remote control gone? I have no idea. Right, I am back next week. Um, uh, something much more affordable uh, and something ex very, very different to this. Um, and I hope you take care. Uh, put your mask on, people. We've, we've had our mandates to put the mask back on next week. Um, I do hope you stay safe and keep out of the way of this nasty thing. Um, and I will see you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.